Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Omi. Well, how's it going, Brook? Yes, it probably will. Mwah, 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 mwah. Anyway, I haven't done that forever. Anyways, in the last episode, guys, we got ourselves the Red Gem, and we heard a speech about Blake from Blake Hall. Not about Blake Hall, from Blake Hall, about this mysterious new dream energy that uh, Altruic is supposedly about to unveil to the world very soon. So what's going on? Uh, well, we're gonna have to help Keith out to get a yellow gem to stop Team Dimson's plans first. But before we do that, well, today is a quest episode, in fact. So, um, mentioned that we were doing this last time, but we have four quests. Uh, one in Peel Town, one in Boyle Land, one in Hia Valley, and one also in Boyle Land. So, seems like, oh, that's the Boyle Volcano, but close enough. So, uh, let's go ahead and take on the two that are in Boyle Land first. Seems to make, I mean, I'm in Peel Town here, but we're gonna save that one for later for reasons. Um, because the one in Peel Town's kind of obnoxious. So let's head to Peel Town first, and we're going to, uh, we'll go from there. Or Peel Town. No, we're gonna head to Boil Land first, and go from there. Yes, yes indeed. So what we're going to want to do first, uh, basically, we have a quest inside here, uh, from the Fisherman, actually. You have to actually get, uh, make the Team Dim Sum member become a Fisherman first, and then he gives you a quest. But the one we're gonna take care of first, be just for reasons here, is going to be the one inside, uh, here, because we're going to, uh, this is the one, this is going to be the one that actually gives a new party Pokemon as well, but there's a Snover, in, I mean, it's it's in the same spot, you knew this was going to be a thing, but, uh, there's a Snover inside Volcano Cave. What's an Ice Grass Pokemon doing inside a volcano? I mean, he's four times weak to heat, essentially. Not a good time, really, but, uh, yeah, apparently we should go help out a little Snover, and indeed we should. So he's in this entrance, but uh, he's actually on the east side. So uh, we don't, we can't get to, to there from here, but we can exit the cave, head to the east. And you can imagine a lot of these, a lot of these missions are going to uh, revolve around stuff that actually happens in a uh, the east side of the cave. So especially the ones in obviously in Boil Land. So while we're here, we're gonna be wanting to grab a few Pokemon as well to help us out. Other, the reason I'm doing this one first is we can grab. Actually, a grand total of three different Pokemon that can help us out in uh, our upcoming quests. So, makes sense to do this one first. Uh, he's over there by the where the Drifloom is, which Drifloom's actually a Pokemon we're going to need to catch, so that's actually kind of handy. So, let's go ahead and circle the uh, Torkoal. There we go. I was going to call him a Torterra, but no. We have enough. <laughs> There's only room in this party for one turtle based Pokemon. The two of them must fight out to the death. And probably the Torkoal would win because he has type advantage. We also have a B. I mean, it's there. It serves literally no purpose, but that's okay. It's an easy trek to get to the Snover. All we have to do is basically uh, hop on this Torkoal and go all the way around. So, honestly, this is probably. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say it's the easiest quest, actually. It's actually technically the second easiest because uh, there's a quest even easier for us to do here, but uh, we'll get to that one later. Um because we, it'll be easy once we have a certain Pokemon that we'll actually be catching momentarily. And that Pokemon will be this Charmeleon over here because it does have Burn 2, it does have Burn 2, and that's uh, actually a Pokemon power we're going to need later on this episode. So while we're here in Volcano Cave, catch a Pokemon that can use fire, it'll very much come in handy here. And Charmeleon's not a terribly tough capture either. I somehow lost my charge there because I guess I, oops. Probably should have not. I went a little early there. Just a, just a smidgen early there. So that's okay. We'll get our health back pretty quickly anyway. Uh, so yeah. So we're gonna want this Drifloom up here, which will won't show up immediately. But once we finish the quest by getting the snow over here, we can just kind of back off, and then uh, the Drifloom will will be right next to where the Drifloom is. We just go back to the screen, then back to the screen, and then the Drifloom will be here. So handy, because we're actually gonna want to before we do the next quest. We're gonna want to. We're going to want to talking. It's a thing. We're gonna want to go upstairs and grab both Pelipers, because we're going to need them for a quest very soon, so. Uh, watch out for the massive amount of leaf shooting going on there, and then uh, capture the Snowbra here, and once he's uh, caught, well, that's one quest taken care of already. Not too shabby, we got ourselves a new partner Pokemon, one of the Ice Power, which is a decent enough power. I do still consider Psychic to be better, um, to be honestly, one of the best Pokemon powers you can have, but that's I, that's beyond the point. I don't care. So yeah, we saved your life, man. I got your back, Snover. Now join me forever, because we're gonna walk in this volcano even deeper together, and you're going to die. 
Oh, Snowbird is adorable though, and then it turns into Obama. You can quote me on that one, I suppose. Anyway, uh... <laughs> ah, Obama Snow. You will forever be my favorite missaid of a Pokemon ever. So, yes, we'll take Snowbird as our partner Pokemon. That's like a partner Pokemon that's almost as big as we are. Look at this thing. He, he just, he fits right in with our size here. It's just, it's kind of crazy. So, we now have a Snowbird. Cool story. Oh. Okay, the Drifloom is down here, which is a good thing because... I forgot about the drift flame until I jumped down there, but luckily we just proved that it shows up down there apparently if you, uh, for some reason. Okay! Apparently the, that drift flame is just like, holy shit, Daz a Snover! Better get the heck out of here! And yes, that's how Drifflins talk. For some reason, that was the voice I gave to a Drifflin today. And the rest was history. So. Let's go ahead and uh, get those Pelippers, because we will need them. Uh, honestly, this is probably stuff I could potentially cut out, just, but it's not that far of a journey, so all we need to do is hop on this, use the Drift Limb, go up there, grab the Pelippers, exit the cave. Which, to exit the cave, we're going to need to catch another, uh, whatchamacallit, Torkoal, which is annoying, but oh well. Oh, I'm totally out of room for Pokemon, but the nice thing is, because I can capture six Pokemon now, I can uh, get away with a bit more finicking here and uh, holding on to a lot of Pokemon that we kind of need. Actually, we're going to need, what, two? Hmm, if we're going to need two Pelippers, we're going to have to get rid of something, so I'll just go ahead and ditch the Raichu for now, because we're not going to need the Raichu for uh, a while, so... Because I need this Torkoal to get back, I'll get rid of the Drift Blim, but then I'm going to need to catch two Pelippers. That being said, once we have all this stuff, we will quite literally have all the Pokemon we're going to need for the next two quests, basically, so while we're taking a while now, this is why I'm kind of keeping this all in, is if you can kind of just finagle things, especially if you turn the Red Gem first and get the Pokemon upgrade. Also level up, by the way. But uh, if you finagle things like this, you can actually finagle. Get me using my stupid words. Ow! Freaking rude, sir! Excuse me, princess! Bagon. They are now princess. Princess Bagon. Someone please draw me fan art of that. I want fan art of Princess Bagon. That just sounds like, that sounds adorable and terrifying at the same time. Please, community, I beseech you. I should just ask for fan art requests in more videos, because it seems like people deliver on them no matter what the heck they are. Hell, I had someone drop boobs on the sea for Phantom Hourglass. So, you know, really, what is my life anymore when I can just demand fan art? for stupid reasons. I love you guys so much. Anyway, we're catching these two Pelippers, and then, uh... Honestly, it's not even... See, the thing is, like, I, I'm sitting here like, I can cut this footage out and save time. And then I'm like, but, at the same time, you know, a lot of this footage is necessary, and the parts I can cut out would be like 30 seconds, because it'd just be me just going out of Torkoal and heading back to the beginning, so... It just hardly seems very necessary to do that, I guess. I don't... Whoops. Hopefully for us, uh, we do not take much water damage anymore, seeing as we have both water resists. We take six less damage from water, uh, which is going to be handy, given uh, a section coming up in our future. But, yeah, it's nice to take six less damage from a lot of Pokemon. So like I said, I need to get rid of something. We'll get rid of the Raichu for now. Probably could have re used Recharge to regain that, what, two HP? Oh man, guys, I just w wasted two hit points. Two hit points. Because, I mean, I've only been close to death once, that was through the Drapion, and that Drapion is just the, the breaker of dreams, really. That's what that Drapion is. Ugh, Kincaid. Whatever happened to him anyway? Well, it might be a question we'll be finding out sooner than you think. But not today, obviously. We're not going to have a quest about Kinsaid, Kin... However the hell you pronounce his name, I don't even know. Please, make names in your video games for things that, like, uh, like or that are easy to pronounce. Because... Think of the LPers, man! Think of the LPers! Only you can prevent LPer English loss. I don't even know how to say it. But anyway, so you need to co complete the first quest, obviously, to get the team's dim some guy to appear here. But once he does, he'll become a fisherman, and he'll give you a quest. So, uh, he's a fishing guide, but he needs some help. Because, uh, the Volcanus Mactive has caused two walls of fire to spring up the cave's corridors, because uh, it's keeping it from his, uh, his fishing spot, which happens to actually be that hidden harbor. Turns out that place is, I mean, it makes sense. It seems like it would be a, 
a lot of fish would be attracted to like you know the warm water or something or just you know a harbor like that so hey he has a secret little fishing spot it seems like uh his criminal ways have somewhat paid off for him here you know you never know you can turn your life around and use the knowledge you've learned in the past too even just but even if it's for mistakes in your past you, know, you can still use that knowledge to create a brighter future for almia or yourself kind of turn into blake hall there for a minute on purpose so our quest is to head back into the normal side of the volcano but we need their walls of fire. Remember, those walls of fire require two, th uh, a three soak to get past. There's two of them, so we need two three soaks. So that's why I got the pelipers beforehand. I got, I got both. Yeah, I did. Good. So we now have two pelipers. We can now go ahead and uh, use those pelipers to get past the walls of fire. And once we're there, we can get rid of the walls of fire and complete the quest. And then that Charmeleon will be used to solve another quest after that, and then we just have, five, have one more quest, which is extremely annoying, and just, uh, all my momentum just died there instantly. I was like, it's gonna be a fun time! Alright, I still have that quest in the future. Well, there goes all my enthusiasm today! Yay! So, uh, let's go ahead and catch this Driflum, and... Then, we can ride on balloons! It'll be very exciting. Clearly, that is the most important thing in life, to ride on balloons. I don't know about you, but I want to ride on balloons. It's just like, it's like up. You just ride around balloons. Just hopes of balloons. Oh, up, you're a wonderful movie. Oh, Pixar, you do wonderful things. Yeah, it's Pixar, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's Pixar. Anyway, the first, uh... The first wall of fire is over here. You really can't miss them. They're blocking your basic access to the area. So, uh, just go to the Hidden Harbor. You will encounter both of them, no problem. That's essentially the way it works. But just in the interest of the fact that we need to, uh, show off where they are, I'm gonna keep the footage in. I probably will, uh, cut us out when we get to the part where, uh, I have to walk back because I don't have a Pokemon of Teleport offhand. So, just in the, uh, interest of doing that, we will go ahead and cut on the way back out because I don't think I need to show how to get out of this place and unfortunately it doesn't automatically like it doesn't automatically take you out like a uh, past quest into this area have done Magmar nobody still loves you especially not me if you're Magmortar however then I would love you because Magmortar is a freaking awesome Magmar what did I say get out no stop no Bad, no, Magmar, please. Anyway, so the last wall fire will just be right up here by the entrance to the harbor, and all we need to do is Pelipur that thing up, and uh, from there we just need to turn in our quest to the fishing guy, and we will have another quest taken care of, and we'll get our first reward of the day, because the first quest just gave us, you know, a new partner Pokemon. In terms of like Stella upgrades, though, we're gonna get our first of the day, which, as you can imagine, will be a lot more elemental upgrades of sorts. Are they, are they called elements? I know they're Pokemon like move types, but like, could you call them elements? A fighting element Pokemon? I don't know. It could work, maybe. Magmar! Please. So, we're gonna go ahead and, actually, yeah, I do need to catch another Drifloom to even get out of here in the first place. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut until I get out of this area. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, we have made it out of Volcano Cave, finally. That was only slightly annoying. And uh, from there, we can go ahead and turn in this quest to the fishermen, get our reward, and have a party. Hello, fishing guide! I'll make the tourists really happy because they can go fish in the secret spot, catch some big fish, and then I guess put them into Pokeballs because you don't really eat fish in this world because everyone's a Pokemon. Rhythm me! Give me my reward! My reward today is. Going to take a while, like always. Fire defense! Well, kind of fitting, we just window a volcano to get it. But now we'll take a lot less damage from fire Pokemon. Would have been nice to have that last episode against the Infernape and the Heatran. But hey, game, you know, we just keep being rude like that. See if I care. See if I even have feelings. Anyway, we need to go to Shiver Camp for our next uh, quest. And uh, that one will take really quick. And then we'll have to do a really annoying one in Peel Town. So that one will be very fun. Actually, thinking about the Peel Town one, I could probably just do the usual bypassing of that by uh, doing the quest before I even have the quest, which seems kind of counterintuitive, but 
Um, and well, it's not really counted to it, but I've done that quite a few times, so maybe that would uh, kind of save a little bit of time. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, makes sense potentially, but first do the Shiver Camp one. The Fuel Town one I'm saving for last, both because A, it doesn't really matter which order we do this in, and B, it actually makes more sense to do this one first, to actually think about it, just because, or the other ones first, just because we need our pretty much our full inventory besides, you know, the Torterra and the other one that we're going to keep around, because we can still keep those around. Uh, grab this guy, just because we'll need to start up to get out of here anyway, unless we want to, for some reason, go through Krista Cave and then Union Road, and all that stuff, which makes no sense when you can catch a Star Raptor. Like I said, Star Raptor will be the Pokemon you catch the most in this game. It's kind of silly. So... Got ourselves a Star Raptor. Let's go and uh, do this quest. For now, just notice that you know nothing. Nothing seems wrong in Shiver Camp. Everything, everything seems pretty normal here. Not a problem at all. So, uh, but the quest giver is actually outside Shiver Camp. He's actually in Hia Valley. So uh, he would actually be up near the entrance to the Ice Lake, if I remember correctly. So head over here, dodge all the Pokemon because they are irrelevant, and then talk to this guy. He's like, "We need your help, man." The dome on Shiver Camp has it. We were just there. There was no problem. There was no ice. What are you? You are insane, sir. There was no ice there. I think you are a liar and a fraud. And I shall prove it with science. I have no science. But I shall prove it anyway. Now, okay, it's just the usual video game logic of, oh man, crisis doesn't happen until you talk to the quest giver. And now crisis has happened, there's an ice block here. Oh man, it's only two fire. Oh man, I have a Charmeleon. Oh man, quest complete! Wow. That was difficult. Took all about two seconds, but of course I did bring a burn two Pokemon here. Normally you're not gonna find a burn two Pokemon anywhere near that. If you need to, I mean there's always Peel Town, it has Growlithe. Uh, I could just do what I did for the last time I had a burn stuff in this area. Hey man! The door's open! I had to burn it! I've saved everyone inside here, they're so happy. Oh, well apparently the uh, the the weird stove isn't working. It's a Gigamori, that's right. You uh you fool. I still can't like break it though, which is unfortunate. I just love to go in there and wreck their stove. Be like Link. He likes to go inside people's houses and break pots. Lucky, he likes to go inside people's houses and break stoves. You can quote me on that one as well, apparently. So today's just the day where I make all sorts of creepy quotes that people will... Man, if, if everyone just like went by my quotes of like myself and just like judged me based on just a random series of quotes of my LPs, they'd probably think I was insane. They would be correct. Quest clear, by the way. So uh, we'll get ourselves another bit of power-up data and then we will have one more quest to take care of. And I am really glad I took care of the whole... Uh, talking to Blake Hall thing last episode because it's taking just as long as I suspected. These quests take a lot longer than I give them credit for sometimes. Just because like it takes like a minute just to be like, oh man, I got extra defense against normal attacks. Hey look at that, our entire top row is almost complete though. That's kind of, uh, it's kind of cool. I, I can get behind that. So we'll go ahead and get, uh, hop on a Star Raptor and do I want to get the quest first or do I want to, oh well, let's just go ahead and get that. No, it's wasting a Star Raptor though. Yeah, let's just, okay, what we need to do basically, we need to take a quest that will give us three Drifflim. Drifflim are most common in Chroma Rooms. Ergo, we're gonna go ahead and, I just said ergo, um, we're gonna head in here and catch ourselves three Drifflim and then uh, bring him to the guy in Fuel Town and then we'll activate the quest there. Just because it just, it's, you could head there and, you know, activate the quest and then come all the way up here, but it's a lot of walking for no reason, and screw it, I know what I have to do anyway. And it doesn't change the text anyway, so the way I see it is, let's just, just you know, if you want to save a Star Raptor capture, and it's annoying to catch a Star Raptor in Peel Town, just because, like, there are, like, all sorts of out of the way to, like, leave town for quite a bit of time before you even encounter a Star Raptor or go up to Almia Park. It's just all sorts of silly. So we're just going to do the usual, uh, avoid all the Pokemon we can, capture the first dr three Drifflin we can see, Get ourselves a Curlia to help us get out of here, and then, uh, once the Curlia's out of our party, we can then use a, uh, Star Raptor. So this is another reason why it's nice to have six Pokemon, because then you can't keep the Pass and the Torterra, which, it's a four attack on a four crush, you never know when those can come in handy mysteriously and help you skip segments for some reason. So, uh, 
Oh, or, or back help you find a secret. Oh, come on. I do not need you right now, Dusko. You always get in my way. It's so rude. I don't like you one bit, Mr. Guy. You can go ahead and get caught and then released in about two minutes because you're annoying. Is it the same Dusko I ran into the last time I was in this cave doing stupid shit? I think it was. I think that makes me a little salty. So, avoid the coughings this time, which we did, and the poison gas, which would probably kill us if this was real. Get a Curlia, because we're going to want to teleport out of here. Otherwise, you know, if you need to keep the Drift Limbs and you don't have room for a Curlia for some reason, uh, what you can do is you can basically go to the end, climb that ladder, end up back where the beginning was, and uh, or end up on that cliff where like the Altru Inc. shop like shack was. You can do that. That's a thing you can do. Um, it takes a lot longer though, so just getting the Curlia it just it brings you right back up to the entrance where a Star Raptor is waiting. It's just kind of handy. So we have one Drift Limb. I'm fairly sure I probably passed the Drift Limb as well, but there's one here and there's one going to be on the other side. Uh, or we can just fall down the thing probably. There'd probably be a Drift Limb down there anyway. So, we have plenty of Drifflim to get. Uh, all you need is three of them, and they are a plenty in here. You can also get the one in Volcano Cave, but that one's kind of out of the way. It's just easier to get the three Drifflim in uh, the Chrome Maroons. You have to do less running around. I mean, there's, there's not three Drifflim in Volcano Cave. There's only two, as far as I can remember. So, really, realistically, your best bet is to... Uh, there's Drifflim down here, right? Yeah, there is. Of course there's Drifflim down here. We'd be kind of be trapped if there wasn't and we fell in here about one, we would not be able to get back up. And that would be unfortunate, so it's a good thing there's Drifflim down here. You saved my life, Mr. Drifflim. Anyway, we now have the three Drifflim we need. We'll use the Curly to teleport out, we'll use the Star Raptor to go to Peel Town, we'll talk to the quest, we'll accept the quest, we'll hand in the quest immediately because we have Psychic Powers, also known as the Internet, also known as Foresight, also known as... Bye, Dooskull! I don't like you. And from there, uh, we would not talk to a different. Get out of here, Hypno. A Hypno was about to do really disturbing things. I mean, you've seen the text for Hypno. He takes children and does very messed up things to them, according to the Pokédex. So, no, I do not want Hypnos to be sneaking up behind me. Luckily, Curly had just saved our life and our bacon. And you know what they say about bacon? Well, I don't know what they say about bacon. I'm vegetarian. But, you know what they say about bacon? I don't know what they say about bacon. So, I don't know if this conversation's going I'm, I'm stuck in a loop here. That's where I am. I'm stuck in a loop of bacon. Mmm. <laughs> to most people, that would sound delectable. To me? Well, I don't know. So, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and head to Puel Town. Ignore the fact that I just am weird. And, uh, we have... Three drift limbs, which is just a silly sight to behold, that's for sure. Our quest giver will be down here in the uh, right part of town. Just head right and then head up the stairs and basically just keep heading up and you will eventually see it. I almost ran to that Elekid, but uh, no, I did not because that would be silly. Our quest giver is right here. Speaking of up, by the way, just speaking of up, just this. So, uh, this guy needs help to move, he needs some Drifflum to help him move, and, uh, to do all the heavy lifting and whatnot, but apparently, uh, he forgot to get them. So, he needs some balloons to help move. It's kind of, I don't know, for some reason this couple just, this whole situation just reminds me of Up, except I think this game came out before Up did? Did it? I don't know, when did Up come out? When did this game come out? I feel like this game came out before Up did. I want to say that's true. Not 100% sure on that though. It's roughly the same time. I don't know. At this point, who knows? But we had three drift limbs, so we can just turn this quest right away. So, turn the quest. From there, we can end the episode, and all is well for the world. So, we have three drift limb. We've saved his ability to move, and uh, yay for us. And with that, Team Rocket is blasting off again! They are <laughs> the drift limb just kidnapped them. We actually just we, we just assisted in a kidnapping. They're dead. The Drifflim just stole them away forever. I mean, look at the, the, the text for Drifflim. They're not very helpful Pokemon. That definitely seems more reminiscent to a kidnapping. They're kicking their feet and struggling. Clearly, 
Clearly, you've just assisted them in death. Maybe this was a suit. I don't know. Maybe this is the most elaborate Pokemon-based suicide in the history of mankind. This is things we do not want to think about, though. So, for now, we have a Power Plus, and, uh... We can go ahead and get an increase to two more... That got ridiculously morbid suddenly. Just saying. We now have officially 100 power. Am I seeing that correctly? That looks like 100 power to me. Hot diggity, that's cool. Never say hot diggity again, but... Hot diggity, that's cool. And with that, guys, we've ended this episode. So, uh, in the next episode, well, we actually don't have to fly anywhere. We head down here to the harbor, and, uh... We take the boat to the Haruba Desert to go help out Keith, uh, who, uh... Appears to be struggling with the Guardian. What's going on in the Haruba Desert? We'll find out next time, guys. Lucky 70X, sign out. See you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.